Have you seen people who lost their ability to speak after they have had a stroke or an injury to head? Ever wondered what it is or why that happens? Our brain is the controller of all our actions that we perform, including understanding and what is to be spoken in specific language. Specific areas in our brain controls specific activities in us. An individual will lose the ability to speak or understand language when those areas of brain are damaged due to injury. Thus, loss of language due to brain injury is called aphasia. Can you imagine a day without speaking? Can you imagine a situation where no one understands you in spite of you talking to them? This is what a person with aphasia feels like. Some of them do have the ability to speak, but their speech may not make sense to the listener. There are a few persons with aphasia who cannot understand your words in spite of multiple repetitions. So, can it be treated? Yes, of course. Human brain is a wonderful thing. It has its own mechanisms to repair and cope with injury. With proper medical treatment followed by speech language therapy, at the earliest, the recovery will be faster. The brain can be retrained to rebuild its understanding and speaking areas and the person can regain his or her lost skills of understanding and speaking. To communicate and to speak with friends, family and others is such an important asset of any human being. We realize this asset only when we lose the communication or speech. This can happen when there is any kind of a disorder in the brain functioning and it can happen at any age. It can be in a child, it can be in an adult, it can be in an old person, elderly person. So what is this condition which leads to speechlessness? And this is called aphasia and aphasia is due to malfunctioning of the brain due to some illness or low blood circulation or any kind of brain damage. So what do we do when there is an aphasia? Just don't get disturbed. Aphasia can lead to speechlessness of course. But when you identify this condition very early and when you identify the type of aphasia in a person, you can definitely plan your treatment or therapy with a person and see that the person improves his communication skills. Consult a speech-language pathologist for speech-language therapy followed by appropriate medical treatment. For more videos and updates, subscribe to our channel.